if there were ever an attempt at mentalism, or mind reading per se, this would be it. Hello everyone, I'm Dan, and let's have some fun, shall we? Cards are shuffled and mixed up in the usual manner, and we can even hand it out to spectators so they can mix it up, so they can see that it's a fully mixed up pack of cards. We have two cards that are peaked, so let's say uh, Spectre tells me to stop, and they say stop right here. That is the first card that will be memorized. And the second spectator can go across like this, or actually just um, tell me when to stop in this case. We'll just change up a bit. They tell me to stop whenever, look further, look back, right, right there, yeah, okay. And they can peek this one as well. Okay. And we'll leave this right here. We're also going to use one more card, but this will come into play later. I don't know if it, this is either of your cards. The Six of Clubs? No? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. We'll use this in just a bit. So for right now, and then my hands are away from the pack, I'm going to use some mind reading. Uh, I'll start with the first person I selected. You think of your card. It could be low, middle, high. It could be a red card, a black card. It can be clubs, hearts, down in spades. Let's go with it. Okay. So low, middle, high, royal card. I'm not. I'm not getting. I'm getting zero cents on low and middle. And so I'm getting a feeling, and I'm gonna look at the audience as well. It's like a high card or a royal card. So let's let's go with like ten, jack, queen, king, maybe ace. I'm looking at the spectator as I'm doing this. I'm not feeling much. So let's just go with 10, Jack, Queen, King. 10, look at them. 10, Jack, Queen, King, Queen, King. I feel like I'm so close. I feel like it's, it's like a, I feel like it could be a King, but I'm not sure. I feel like it's, it's uh, it could be red, it could be black. I'm getting more of a darker contrast. <laughs> oh, it is a black card? Oh, okay, 50-50 chance. Here, uh, and I, I, I can't fully say what it is. I, I feel like it could be like the King of Spades. I want to say King of Spades, but someone's telling me King Clubs are around there. I'm not sure. And as for you, sir, which, uh, which Six of Diamonds did you choose best friend? <laughs> and that usually gets a crazy reaction. <laughs> Here, here's the fun part. Here's the fun part. That was a little bit of mind reading, a little bit of weird mind reading. And what we're gonna do now is, so there was first the, the deep level, the deep level, like peeling an onion of mentalism, but I wanna raise it on up with some danger to it for all the guys and gentlemen here. So what's gonna happen, and I can't believe I'm doing this in close quarters, <laughs> wow, is I'm gonna get this six of clubs that we uh, shot out of the pack. I'm gonna shoot up into the air. It's gonna do about 20 spins. It's gonna arc like a boomerang come back and land exactly in the pack between the six of diamonds and a king of, I believe, clubs, one hand. Is everyone ready for this? <laughs> Check this out. And as I love to say, uh, need to see it to believe it. And they go, yes, I hope you're not Christian. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this sitting, but I'm going to try it anyways. Check it out. Count three, one, two. Three. Oh, it can always miss. It can always miss. So I ask that everyone give me one more try and just to know that it is very, very difficult. I normally do this standing 95% of the time. So let's give it one more shot. And it lands directly right there. I'm not editing this. I'm doing this in one shot take so you can see all of it. It land between two cards. I'm going to lift up exactly where it's at. No funny business. Six clips right there. Two cards, one is King of Clubs, and the other is that Six of Diamonds. <laughs> My name is Dan, and I hope you have a good one.